Hello everybody, this is Beastcat100 and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the previous episode, we had gone through the Temple of Ice and we had gotten the second pure metal of Azurine. And there it is, Azurine. So now we have Crimsonine and Azurine. And we also got a handy dandy new item. The whip! Which is super awesome and super versatile. So, in this episode, we're gonna finish up everything here on this island and see what the whip can do. Yeah, so, if you like your see, leave a like down below, comment if you have anything to say, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and share with your friends so they can join in on this adventure. But first, looks like you get your hands on that Azurine. Nice going, guy. You, Gaia, I'm a Roo. No, seriously, I'm the real deal. So here's the story. There I was sipping my stew when all of a sudden a crazy yuk backed me. Maybe it was when he exposed the yuk who was pretending to be me, but what, that barrier thing that was keeping me locked up dropped and I escaped. So, uh, thanks for that. If you're looking for a thank you gift, you're out of luck. Or were you looking for a compliment? No. What? <laughs> Well then, get back, huh? Ready? Here comes your fancy compliment. You're something amazing, you know that guy? And you just... He just keeps doing that forever. So, around here, we actually have some, uh... Some posts to try our fancy new tool on. Don't fall into the ocean. That would be that would be bad. <laughs> Platforming has never really been my strong suit. What the heck was this for then? Okay. Uh, anything on this side? Nothing? Nope, we just get to walk around this this edge over here. And there's a chest, but I'm not going to get to it yet. Because it's just over here. The green rupee. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that chest for last. Unless there's another drop-off point. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. So let's go and grab that. That lone treasure chest. Uh oh. Whoa. 
Whoops. Luckily, they don't make you walk all the way back to the palace entrance. Power gem! Alright, I think that should be everything here. Is there something up over there? Don't go catch a uh, sniffle out there. <laughs> Did you see that hairy uke? You saw it, right? Yeah, I saw the uke. Got the respect of someone who jumped a peg or three. Woo, but that's bold. Fearless, even. One hot nose Azarine getting an animal. Hell yeah. Yes, I see that. No, I'm not doing that right now. Hello. So I guess peace and good has been restored and all that. Man, am I good. Head, head north to... Oh, okay. You guy, nice work. Alright, so there are a couple posts around here. Like this one. Do you know that the old wayfarer, the old wayfarer who lives on Bannon Island, he buried something nice in front of his hut? Strange men do all sorts of strange things. Is that so? Well, that gives us a couple reasons to go back there. line between here and the island chief's house something is buried in the middle but who knows if it's still there here in the child island chief's house huh okay This looks suspicious. What? Big gold rupee worth 300. Nice. Okay. that I'm getting everything here. Oh. Wisdom gem! Ugh, keep your distance, guy. 
Yeah, I'm Nobo. And I got no house. And yeah, they call me no Abodo. Real clever, I got no abode. Ha ha, go on. Left my, left my frozen tears. Actually, you know what? I like being sad, but what do you care? You want something for me? That's why you're here. Here's a secret for you. Anuki's with houses bury stuff in front of the signs outside their houses. We Anuki are tricky like that. What? Forget it. I'm not saying anything more. Is that so? Signs in front of their houses, huh? Red Ruby. You got you really wound up to a little island, huh? Green Ruby. Oh, big green rupee! Alright, what about here? Big red rupee! And nothing. <laughs> well, that was a, that was boring. Stop! Blue Rupee. Another big green Rupee! And another one. Blue Rupee. Red Rupee. Blue Rupee. Whoa. So supposedly there's something around the middle section here. Well, that went into the sign. I'm not getting that back. Damn it. No, my holes are gone. Alright. I guess that I guess that was the red ruby. Alright. I believe that is everything that we can do here. You kid, so you finally got the pure metal. Woohoo! No time to celebrate as if it's no time. To... It's no time to celebrate as if this all the troubles are over. I won't rest until we find the th pure three uh, three pure metals, and we're off to sea. All right. So there are a couple things I want to do. First, while we're here, I want to go check out the traveler ship again. Ho oh, ho! I can't see anything! Ho oh, ho! Oh, oh! How terribly rude of me. I'm a member of the whole tribe. I came from the country of Wayaway to buy treasure. Charmed. In the land of Wayaway, I whispers of the words of the Helmarok plume. Okay, that's the same as last time. See, I don't know about this because there are some time sensitive events that happen on the world map. Like for example, there's some sort of golden ship that will appear and it's like another shop, but I've never seen it appear. So I don't 
I'm kind of afraid that if you're playing this on the 3DS, the game is not going to tap into your clock. Which is something I kind of want to look up. What? Golden Frog! Got him! Oh, nice shot, buddy. That, that, yeah, no, no. That's fine. Oh, it's an Omega symbol. Nice. All right, there's a frog in the middle of this map. That's cool. Oh! Ship part. Nah. That's pretty cheap. Ah, you know what? Give it to me. So our scale. Grab the treasures. Your poor time goes climb to twenty-eight. Time to bring it up to fifty. All right, fine. Well, that's new. That's, um... Huh. Look there, that is the box on it! It's shaped like a DS. That's strange. DS Island. Really subtle. Oh, I see Gorons. Maybe Gongoron is here. Shovel hit something. A snake nest! Okay. And, alright. We're too busy, so there's no time to help my dad. Busy, so busy, I have no idea where I should even start. Okay. Oh, okay, that's why. something a beehive what's a beehive doing underground not the bees 
Oh, that was fair. Finally, something good, a big green rupee. This is kind of cool, honestly. myself in the process here. Whoops. Big red rupee. We're 200. Seeing all sorts of rupees today. the bees doesn't even make sense big green root we're getting money for days here jeez what do you have to say boing oing what is it? Something's buried under the lower screen's menu button, whatever that means. So that's actually something that's really cool. If you go over here, and you see where the menu button is here, if you dig... Under the menu button, you get a Courage Gem. That's actually kind of a, a cool little detail. Now I saw some enemies over here. chest appears and what is in this chest why it's another courage gem right, so that seems to be everything that we can really do here in terms of like digging and exploring stuff like that so we just gotta check to the weight no, that wasn't a digging spot. Okay. Welcome to the game that's all the rage. Yes, it's the Goron game. So want to take it for a spin? Sure. Uh, let me explain the simple rules of the Goron game. There are several targets scattered about the course, brother. Break all of them and the final path to the finish line will open. Think efficiently, think quickly, and most of all, think like the Goron and win! Now I'll introduce your daring sidekick in my Goron game. He'll be the one actually rolling around the course for you. Go on, go for it, Gon Garon! Yeah, brother! I'm the one and only star of this island. My fans call me Gon Garon. What? Hold on. What are you doing here, girl, Beastcat? We want to do the same thing! I got a part time job to help my dad make ends meet. I bet we'll be unstoppable with you meet rolling me around. This time it's 35 seconds! Well then, let's go! Oh, I see.
Oh shit. No! I was right there! 37. That's a fair record. Take your consolation prize from one of your from one of the chests there, brother. A helm rock plume. Alright. Do you wanna play again? Yeah, I wanna play again. No! No, there was one back there! Shit. Too many times. God damn it! Oh, 3566, almost. Yeah, 28 seconds. Time 28, sec 28 seconds. A thrilling record and you just set a new high, so please take this thrilling prize. You got the bomb chew bag. Well then, want to try for a new record, brother? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That's what I was looking for. Well... Compared to everything else, that didn't take too long. What's with this island? Sort of a different shape, don't you think? Eh, maybe it's just me. Wanna set sail? Yeah. Get out of here. We're done. We're done here. Oh god, Jolene does not stop. Uh, 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 uh. that get over here the bell breaks you get a cuckoo okay just had to make sure nothing there either and treasure map Is right there. Ow. Stop diving into the water, Link. <laughs> Fine, take that one rupee. I got a five. Courage gem. Okay, get some tight rope across. <sighs> Special delivery. Guess what? You forgot about the post box. This is a letter from R of the Inuki. <clears throat> Here's a scoop. You 
Can I be skates? It's me, Oru, the Unuki. You really got took care of me the other day. I gotta say, I was touched. Thanks to you, I got my life back. Literally. My world could have stopped if you hadn't done what you did. I'm sending you a small token of my appreciation. I found it at the dump, so maybe you can use it. The real Oru. Oru. Wisdom gem! Over on the Isle of Ember, there's this chest that we couldn't reach before, which contains a Courage Gem. We're now, oh boy. Sorry, I'm, I was trying to look up information on what the heck would go on with the uh, internal clock. Then I put my phone down and, well, the rest was history. I think, I think it's time we switch over to the Spirit of Wisdom, just so we don't get stupidly hit by these. Oh hell no, fuck no. I don't even care about the rupees. Fuck the choo choos. Oh, come all the kingdom come. I don't want to lose my shield. I don't want to lose my items, which you can do, which both are possible with this. And all the way up here, for our efforts, we get a power gem. And while we're here, oh yeah, so if a, if an enemy does a quarter harder damage to you, you can see now that with the Spirit of Wisdom, um, we have increased defense and our hearts are glowing and whatnot, if an enemy does a quarter heart normally and you bump into them, now your shield will actually stun them. So that's really cool in terms of increased defense. Okay. And, well, the Spirit of Wisdom has its, its uh, time a little cut short. Because it's time to upgrade the Spirit of Courage. So far you have found ten Courage Gems with this many gems. The Spirit of Courage's power will be awakened. Come forth, Spirit of Courage. Using the gems that PC has collected, you must now recall the true extent of your spirit power! Get the Spirit of... It's been powered up! Your sword now hurls shock waves. Seriously? Wait, are we talking like the the sword beams? Oh, that's awesome! Wow, that's kind of cool, actually. I'll keep that equipped for a while. Honestly, I kind of like the Spirit of Powers. I like the double attack damage, but we'll see.
So this is the Isle of Gust. Don't think we had anything there. Did we get this traveler ship? Oh, that's that guy. Back on this island, which I was mistaken, it was not a frog, it was a dolphin. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, if we head inside. Okay, this is this was the place I was looking. I I was trying to remember. <laughs> they got another courage gem. Oh, that's Zaz's island. And last but not least, here on Bannon Islands. I check on a few things here. goes through enemies. Treasure map. We have this chest here, which is a power gem. Not grapple trees. Oh. Wait. Oh. Big green rupee. And a courage gem. Stone tablet on the left. Stone tablet on the right. Stone tablet to the side. If you look closely, there's something scribbled. In. I buried a little something nice in between the two chests. Well, let's see if this is accurate. Yes, it is! Treasure map. And the last thing that we want to do is just to go check on Ben and see how our fishing expeditions have been going. Oh, young man, show me what you hauled in. Where is it? Let me see. 
It's a common fish that I've seen many times before, but there are many fish in the sea, becoming too fair wayfarer takes time. Alright, then I have not caught the fish that is necessary. I may be one heart container short at the end of this. Because that's where this side quest gets you. He gives you a certain lore. He gives you like two lures across the quest that'll get you um, bigger fish. And then there's like uh, like a legendary fish, much like a deer. Excuse me, sorry. Much like a deer, actually. You get you catch bigger fish and then you catch a legendary fish and then you're good to go. I'm not doing that again. And from this one, we will get A simple wheel chip, which I just bought. God damn it. A little late there, Sela. Like that, that island just walked on a charts. I don't want to do it. I know what that island is, and we're actually going to save it, because it just, it'll be in better order. And if we wait. Besides, we're going to come back to this area anyway. <sighs> okay. What's so important that that was in this one, huh? A bright hall, which is something I already have. Ugh. Alright. That about wraps it up for today. I'm just gonna make my way over to... Merkay Island. Because in the next episode, we're going to take some care of some stuff there and hop back into the Temple of the Ocean King to grab the northwestern, northeastern sea chart. So, as we dock here, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.